Okay, this is the part where I actually install the driver. So click the orb, go to your all programs, go find the motion enjoy folder, find the install USB driver, right click on that and go up to run as administrator, left click that. This little command prompt will pop up, eventually get this scary red doom and gloom uh, box here. Windows can't verify the publisher of this driver, just click install this driver software anyways and the installation will continue. Eventually a white uh, notebook text box will pop up with information of what this program just did um, and you're going to be looking for two things when that pops up any second here there it is now down here it says installation was successful installation complete um, then you'll get this uh, windows requires digitally signed driver blah 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 just click out x out of that all right um, that's pretty much all you gotta do to install it so we just need to restart windows so you know how to do that go to orb restart now on our fourth reboot, yep, you guessed it, F8, F8, F8. Uh, keep hitting that, keep hitting that, keep hitting that till it pops up. Disable driver signature enforcement. Okay, wait till Vista comes back. Before it'll work completely, you gotta launch this DS3 tool. It's either located on your desktop or if you didn't, uh, install the icons to your desktop, it's located here. Click on either one, it doesn't matter. That'll open up. Once it's open, you'll see, did you download, do you download updated files now? Yes. Register, restart, yes. I don't know what, but updating stuff is usually good. Oh, look at that. It detects it. Game controller number one, connected controllers. This is how it does default. It says D-pad without joystick. So it's basically like uh, the, the thumbsticks don't work. So if you want the thumbsticks to work, click this. That means the triggers will work, the buttons will work, the D-pad will work, the, the sticks will work. The only difference in that, the uh, number one here and number two, is the analog triggers, it'll be sensitive. It'll be on another axis. Um, otherwise, they'll just act like buttons here. I click enable. We close that out. Now, to test that it's working, go to the control panel. Click on game controllers. Oh, look, there it is. Hit properties. And there we have it. Hat's working down here. All the buttons are here. The 6 and 8 are the R1, R2. 5 and 7 are L1, L2. This is the left access, the left uh, um, thumbstick. This is the right thumbstick. That's it. That's how it works. Now, if you want to get the uh, analog stuff, you just go down for the triggers, enable, close that out, back to game controllers, and you'll notice as I'm hitting the R1, R2, or the R2 button on the bottom, it's now the X rotation, and same as uh, the L2, it just um, changes that right there. So that's, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Now, one other thing that every time you reboot Windows Vista, you must hit F8 and disable that driver. Um, signing thing if you don't the drivers we just installed will not load now if that's okay with you guys you're pretty much done there's only one last uh one last tip right here now every time you reboot you might have to go into this it'll be down here in your system tray or you can launch it if it doesn't and it might look like it's where you wanted it like say you saved it here but it will probably most likely default to the first one your thumbsticks won't work so just launch that up click on that hit enable maybe they'll fix that in a future one i don't know but that that's you know a little thing that you have to do to get this working inside vista 64 sp2 now, if hitting F8 every time you need to restart or reboot your computer is too much of a pain in your ass to do every single time, or if you just don't want to worry about it, you just want to load uh, Windows up and have the controller work, here's a few extra steps you can do. Basically, we're going to disable the driver enforcement thing inside Windows. So, first you want to click your orb. Type CMD. Now, don't hit enter. Do not hit enter. you got to go up here, right-click, hit run as administrator. Now, i got this little uh, handy... Um, text file over here we're gonna bring it over here so you guys can see it um, there's two commands here and I'll post this in the more info to the right of this uh, video um, so highlight control C copy that right click the little C icon here go to edit and click paste hit enter operation was completed successfully highlight the second one I don't get that extra space. I like the second one. Hit Control C. Right click that little icon up there. Edit, paste, enter. That's all you got to do right there. Um, no, we don't want to save that. So after you do that, reboot your computer.
Hey, once back in Vista, you'll see the watermarks. Test mode, test mode, test mode, test mode. That shows you that what you just did works. So to disable that, we must navigate to another website. So open up your browser, and I'll post this link in the more info as well. Um, let this load up here. Um, read this. This might pertain to you, but... For Vista, um, all we gotta do is come down here, download link one, and this 290 .zip, which is version 0.8. Uh, click that, right click save as, put that wherever you uh, won't forget. And we'll let that finish up. Okay, so now that we have that on our desktop, find it and open it. So we'll minimize, bring it over here. Open that up. Now, it has both in here, but since it's a 64-bit, you double-click this, you hit Run. Do you really want to apply this patch? I hit Yes. And it sits there and does a whole bunch of stuff. Now, it's going to sit at this screen while it rebuilds your MUI cache. Um, and so let it do that. It'll eventually complete. Once it's done, I'll say press Enter to exit. That's that. All we got to do is reboot one more time. So, reboot it. Okay, we're back at our desktop. We did not hit F8, and we did not click on that disable driver enforcement. We were basically at the desktop after booting it up. Um, and, as you notice, the watermarks are gone. So it looks just like a normal desktop, except it's running in an unsigned test driver mode, which, you know, lets you load any kind of driver you want. It doesn't affect performance or hurt the operating system in any way. Um, as you can also see here though, we, oh yeah, we gotta click on this, make sure you hit enable to make sure that it does put the settings you want until they fix that bug and click properties. And as you can see, every button is still working. So there you have it. Follow all those steps in both parts of my videos and you too can have a PS3 controller working flawlessly inside. Vista, 64-bit SP2. We'll see you guys next time.